All right, first off, we got a uh, a five eighth socket on a swivel, a little extension on there. This is for actually loosening up these uh, hydro pumps. One is right here. It's got the little hole in it right there. I already did it, but I'm just showing you what I what I use. So this one right there, I put that on there, and you turn it one turn and a half. The other one is right there. So I would stick it like through here to get to it. Bam, right there. Turn that one one turn and a half and loosen them up. And that will that will loosen up the high the hydraulics on this on this machine. So you can push and pull this thing a tiny bit easier. Actually a lot easier. Without loosening those up, you can't even push this machine. So that's that's number one. You gotta do that. Uh, second thing, once you loosen it up, depending on where you stuck at, you gotta look, you gotta put a little, little elbow grease into getting it to the trailer. If you lucky enough and it break down somewhere where you could back the trailer up to it, you in good shape, but you might have to at least put a little, a little elbow grease into, uh, pushing it you know and getting it to the trailer a lot of times you might on a machine like this you might be stuck in a backyard or something like that you might have to at least be able to get it to the driveway so that's number two you got to push it and get it close enough to the the trailer to get this done All right, next I'm going to show you uh, how to actually get it up on the trailer. This is an 800 pound machine and it's very, very heavy. I wouldn't be able to push this up on here because of that lip. That lip right there is kind of high and it will just you you just risk injury doing that especially on a 90 degree day or something like that so now what i'm going to demonstrate is this come along tool right here okay this tool right here is called a come along tool um i got this from home depot I actually had to order it. It came, I had to order it to the store and it came like in 24 hours. So it came real fast right off the website, homedepot.com. This is called a come along tool. So I'm gonna show you how this works real quick. So first things first, what you wanna do is there's a little, there's a little trigger right there. This little trigger right here you gotta loosen that up and how you do that it's real hard to do so I, I usually just tap it with a hammer just a little bit now you could pull that trigger you see it loosens up off of here you have to go ahead and latch this part on to the actual trailer itself right now. All right, now once you got your anchor down wherever you want it to be, 
uh, as far as like where you're trying to pull your lawnmower or whatever it is you're pulling, you want to make sure this pin right here is up. You want it down when you pulling the cable back in. You want it up when you pulling the cable out to stretch it to the lawnmower. Alright, like I said, you got to get this, this trigger a little tap to loosen it up. Hold the trigger. Hold the trigger. Once you got the cable out, you just want to hook it onto your lawnmower somewhere. I'm going to hook it right here. So your lawnmower is going to be different. So you got to find somewhere where some metal at to do it. Once you got your lawnmower hooked up, then it's just a matter of put this pin that I showed you. This uh, it's not a pin, but a uh, this spring. Push that back down. And then you just start cranking it up. This cable is 12 feet. If you think you'll get stranded further out or if your ramp is not this small, my trailer is about a, a four by six. Okay. He could come in. Like I said, uh, they have they have uh, these come along tools where the uh, the cable is a lot longer. This one is only twelve feet, so and it's it's got this pulley action, so it actually only goes out about six feet because the cable is kind of folded. They advertise it at 12 feet. So, it really just depends on how much of it you need, but these actually get pretty long and pretty heavy duty. So what I'm gonna do from here, is I'm gonna put the emergency brake on. Well, I'm gonna put the, my brake on. 
that's gonna stop these wheels from rolling. What I'm gonna do is take this off, move this back some, and keep going. And get it all the way up on the machine. And you're more than welcome to watch. Right, there it is there it is how to tow your lawnmower push it up there a little bit more there you go There it is. Come along too. Shows you how to use that. Shows you how to loosen up the hyd the hydros. You want to remember to tighten these hydros back up whenever you get the lawnmower uh back, you know. When you start working on it again, you want to hook those back up and definitely want to tighten them back up before you uh, use the machine again. But if you ever get in a jam and you need to get out, this is a very handy tool to have right here. Like I said, you just loose, you loosen up the uh, hydros and at least be able to push it close enough to the uh the trailer and 
you should come along to get it back up there i'm gonna leave a link in the description for this uh this particular one i got right here but i'm pretty sure they everywhere amazon ebay uh but i'll leave the link in the description for this particular one i got right here off uh home depot all i did was ordered it online and then uh, got it shipped to, to my local store and it took about 24 hours so it was pretty quick if you don't want to wait too long this one right here was about 29.99 real cheap real cheap uh investment but a good investment that that could get you out of a out of a jam though so there it is how to tow your lawnmower if uh you think this video was helpful um go ahead and like this video smash that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one